Now then, crew, and welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. Now, you remember a couple of weeks ago, I uh, did a very short video on a, a dash cam that turned up in the post from China, from a company called 360. Now, uh, I have no previous experience in using dash cams as such. I've used GoPros and done plenty of filming, as obviously you can appreciate. But I wanted to, first of all, get some kind of feedback from you guys, any of you that are out there that have owned one of these uh, specific cameras, to give me a bit of a heads up. And the general feedback that I got, and you'll see it in the comments, was pretty good. I've basically been told this is quite a good quality camera. Now, uh, just want to put a covenant in here right now. I'm not doing this video through any kind of sponsorship. Uh, I don't make any money out of cameras that are going to be sold in the future. This is just my personal opinion and my experience of using this particular camera. And um, this is the camera here, and I've been using this camera now for about two weeks. And first of all, I didn't actually get around to setting it up straight away after, after doing that first video with you. It was only when I was sat in my car down south, um, somewhere near Taupo, waiting for a meeting. I was a bit early. I thought, oh, hey, I've got about 10 minutes spare. Rather than do nothing, there was no Wi-Fi, there was no internet. I couldn't even get texts or phone calls. I was in the middle of nowhere. So I thought, right, let's get this camera set up, uh, get it put in the car, and try and get it set up properly so it would work how I wanted it to work. It did take me about 10 minutes. It was pretty quick. And uh, I'm pleased to say that the little sucker bit that goes on the windscreen is still where I left it. It hasn't dropped off, which is always a good sign. And, um, well, only today, before I did this video, have I actually uh, looked at the video footage from this camera. And I must say, it's very, very good quality. It's obviously a colour image, and it's pretty damned high resolution. It turns out, a bit like the GoPro, where the camera breaks the video down into small files, and this camera is set up uh, to record the video footage immediately you turn the ignition on in the car uh, until you turn the ignition off and it breaks that footage down to one minute increments so every file that it saves is one minute of video and the file name obviously is the date and the time of the start of that one minute of video which I thought was pretty useful when you're looking down through the folder you can identify the bit of footage that you may need to look at pretty quickly However, what I didn't realize is um, that when you come to record again the next day, you turn the ignition on, it basically wipes over, deletes any previous footage uh, from two days ago. So it'll keep the previous day, but it won't keep the footage from two days ago. So if you do have an issue, you want to look at the footage uh, and capture you know, one or two of the files for future then you need to do that really pretty much straight away at the end of the day. You don't want to be leaving it for two or three days because it won't be there anymore. And I found that a little bit disappointing, but that might be something you can change in the settings because this camera came with a 16 gigabyte uh, little memory card, and I can't really imagine that you'd use all that in just two days of driving. That'd be pretty excessive, wouldn't it? So... The memory card itself is located just in there, look, little slot. And just like most SD cards, you can just, just pop it out while you put your nail in there. And there's the card. And that's the same size card that my GoPro uses, so I might end up with the GoPro one day. You never know. Okay, so we'll pop that back in there for now, and it just clicks into place. A bit like a, a SIM card, you know, a phone as well. Same sort of idea. So I'm going to put up on the screen next, um, well, you, you can see now some of the footage uh, that I took whilst I've been driving over the last couple of days. And you'll see that it's extremely high quality, and it obviously records the date and time um, on the screen. So it's you know probably quite useful should you have an accident on the road and you want to use that information um, as evidence in a court of law to prove somebody else's bad driving style. However... I would want to point out that if you do something silly and a policeman spots the fact that you've got a dash cam that's operating in your car, they have the right, certainly here in New Zealand and back in the UK I'm sure as well, to seize that footage and use that as evidence against you. So if you're doing something silly, probably best to turn the dash cam off 
or maybe swallow the uh, the SD card before the cop finally gets to your car. I don't know. That's just my advice. Would I use one on a motorcycle? No, I don't, I don't think these things are very waterproof, actually. I think they last very long, so that's why I'd be using a GoPro on the bike. But again, you still run the risk. If you're doing silly things, they can seize that footage. So extremely impressed by this. I have no idea what the retail price is. So uh, what we'll do now is we'll drop onto the internet. And I think it was called gearbest.com was the company that sent me this. So we'll, we'll drop on the net and we'll see how much these things fetch as regards a retail price. Uh, and then we can make a decision as to whether they're actually value for money or not. Okay, well, let's take a look. Okay, so let's jump on to, well, the people that sent me it, which is um, gearbest.com. Let's have a look on their website. And it's, ooh, what would it be under? Have a look. Automobiles and motorcycles, I suppose. Mm -mm -mm. Car electronics. DVR, that'll be it, won't it? Digital video recorder, I suppose. And it's called <clears throat> a 360. That one there looks really similar. And that one's seventy-seven dollars. I don't know the specs on that one. You'll have to just check them out. That one's real similar too. A very similar style camera. But it's called three hundred and sixty. That's the brand. So that's the one we should look at, really. Again, very similar camera, but that's an SJ Com. That's not what we want. Hundred bucks, Australian. Oh man, there's loads of pages. Let's keep going. Where is it? Let's... Nope. Nope. Ah, there we are. Look. Perfect. So we'll click on that one. Right, so yes, three. That's exactly what it looks like. That is the one. Uh, cool, and that goes for a hundred. Oh, it's expensive, hundred and twenty-five Australian dollars. Any more information on that? Is that it? That's about it, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Look, main features. Well, you can read that. I'm not going to read it all out to you. There you go. MP4, resolution 1080, that's on 1920 by 1080. You can take pictures, that's JPEG as well, it has Wi Fi. I must admit, the night vision is really good. It picks up even at, at night time, you can get a really good picture from it, which is something my mobile phone struggled with. Well, there you go, look, there's your angles. Wow. Pretty cool. And you can, you can Wi-Fi it to your phone as well, which is pretty cool. I haven't done that yet, but I know you can do it. Okay, well, there you go. It's on there. So, if you want one, you should go there. I wonder if it's on AliExpress as well. Let's have a look. Because I'm not affiliated to this company at all. So, AliExpress. On the Express, there we go. Let's have a look on there. 360 dash cam. See if that's going to find it. Don't know. Jeez. So much to choose from. There we are. Okay, that's the same one, and that's well, US is ninety-five dollars. And what else? Free shipping within the states. Buy now. Same specs. Description. See, it's got a parking monitor. 
didn't didn't use that. Same pictures. Huh. That seems I'm actually pretty impressed by it to be honest. It comes with all these bits and pieces. Yeah, didn't use the Bluetooth thing. Little dongly thing they came with. Couldn't quite get my head around that. There's all your specs again. Now this was really useful. This uh, basically is like a little plastic proddy thing which you can use to tuck the wire that runs to the power supply from the camera into the little um, recesses on your plastic. So I was able to run it really neatly down the side of the dash. Down the side of the windscreen and everything so you can't see any wiring. It's bloody good. <clears throat> right, I'm back. So as you guys well know, I'm not uh, really, you know, on the bandwagon of doing product reviews to get free stuff, and certainly not here to do product reviews to make money out of those products. Um, I don't sell stuff. Well, other than the shirts, you can buy an Andy Mechanic shirt through Uniform NZ, but that's the only thing that I do, and that's because, well, it's mine, not anybody else's. So what was it 125 Australian dollars for that dash cam? And there's, you know, you don't have to go through Gearbest. There are other companies out there which will also supply it to you, probably for the same kind of money. I think, personally, for that kind of money, for the insurance that you get, the fact that you're recording your driving style and any accidents that occur in front of you, and people, you know, I had a guy the other day, what was I in? And I hadn't got the camera set up by that point. It was a few days before I fitted the camera. There was a guy in a ute. We were just doing a, an on-ramp onto a motorway. And he was in the, there was, it was two lane on-ramp. And he was in the left-hand lane and I was in the right-hand lane. And I had Ben with me. And you could tell he was speeding up for some reason, you know. And he was, he speeded up and he cut right in front of us. And I had to brake really hard, not for him, the back end of his ute, to take out the front of the car. He obviously was totally oblivious to the fact that we were there. But it was night time and my lights were on and... He'd undertaken us, so, you know, work it out. He obviously maybe had a few pints, I don't know, or something a bit stronger. But the camera would have been really useful for that because it had picked up his registration number, and, well, you know, I could have sent an email to the cops if I'd felt like it, but I'm not one for doing that kind of thing, to be honest, because I'm usually the one doing the naughty stuff. It's karma, isn't it? So, if you found this video helpful, and I hope you did, it's, you know, I'm not going to do many of, this, many of these, maybe one a year at the very most, but I only picked this because it was something that was really useful, I thought, to, what, to my life, to what I do. So if you did find it useful, then why not click on the subscribe button, uh, you'll see a little gear icon turn up, click on the gear icon, and then you can tick the box and turn on notifications, that way our friends down at YouTube will send you an email as and when I upload any new videos. And if this is the first video you've watched of the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel, then, you know, the vast majority of my videos are automotive repairs on cars and motorcycles. And if you're lucky, the odd one has a tour girl in it too, just for a bit of fun. So you might meet or get to see tour girl Hannah. What else have we got? Tour girl uh, Holly. Um, geez, tour girl uh, Harley. Uh, tour girl, oh, Sam, sorry Sam, Tour Girl Sam as well. There's a few of them out there and I'm sure there'll be a lot more in the future and it really is fun doing videos with them but most of the videos don't have Tour Girls in. This is the way it is guys, it cost me a fortune to have all those girls. Anyway, not to worry. Um, also you'll find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus and Twitter. Feel free to communicate through any of those portals and if you've got any specific questions about this dash cam um, that I haven't covered in this video. Um, I'm not going to spend my entire life answering your questions on this, but you know, if it's something that's not on the website, they're not giving the information, and there's something that you've got specific to ask, you know, feel free to ask. And again, if you've if you have one of these or you've owned one and it's failed, you've had problems with it, stick it in the comments because you know it does help people to make a valued decision as to whether this is the one that they should get or not. All I can say is. I was very, very pleasant, pleasantly surprised on how good a quality it was. There's a mouse in the workshop and he's just run outside. <laughs> oh, there's also a Patreon page, so you can drop onto that and you get to find out a bit more about the history of the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. I am going to be putting more stuff on there very shortly. Uh, there's also information about up and coming projects, so you can read all about that. And if you want to, you can become a patron and you can donate through that page. 
Okay, crew, well, until next time, I'll see you around. Cheers. Over and out. Until girl, Sam. How are you? Back. You're back. It's Fantastic. So I know, and I've got a new shirt, so I thought it's only right that I give you a new shirt too. So there you go. So excited for my new shirt, and I don't have to wear different shirts every day. And as a classic tall girl Sam move, I am going to wear it like this. Wow, would you look at that. I'd say that is a great present for your girlfriend. If she's into tools. If she's not, she's probably into tools because you're a tool. See what I did there? Tool girl shirt. Perfect.